That night, with my homework out of the way, I decided to go to bed and read the latest Mr. Midnight book. The stories don't frighten me. Well, not too much. No sooner had I changed into my pajamas and slipped into bed than I felt something tickle the back of my neck. I shifted to a different position and kept reading the story about zombies on a train. Something tickled my neck again. I wasn't scared. I was irritated. I put a hand behind my head and brushed at my skin. The next moment, I felt something furry on my hand. What was it? I wiped my hand around and stared at it. I couldn't believe my eyes. There it was, clinging to my palm, a huge black spider with hairy legs. Yikes! I flew out of bed trying to flick the spider off my hand, but it clung there as though it were glued to my skin. I was flicking and waving my hand furiously, and perspiration was stinging my eyes, and I couldn't see what I was doing when, ow! I struck my hand against the edge of my bedside table. It was so painful I was going to have a massive bruise in the morning. But where was the spider? I looked down and saw it had dropped off, and it was tripping over my bare foot and climbing my pajama pants. There was only one thing to do. I ripped down my pants and hurled them across the bedroom. Oh no, my bedroom, my window was open. My pajama pants went sailing out into space. I ran to the window in time to see them flapping and floating down to, down the side of our building. I fell back against my wardrobe in a sweat, but at least the spider was torn with my pants. But what should I do now? Wake mom and dad, tell them what had just happened, and ask them to go downstairs and fetch my pants. No, I reasoned. They wouldn't thank me for disturbing their sleep. Anyway, I decided my pants would still be down there in the morning, and I could go and get them myself. I rummaged through the drawer and found another pair of pajama bottoms. They didn't match my pajama top, but who cared? Only those worried about things like that. And that's when I remembered that what the girls had told me about the spider dress. Rain and Precious believed in all that nonsense. I didn't, but hey, that spider in my bed had looked vicious. Had the toast come true? Was spider setting their revenge? I jumped back into bed, tossed my book aside, and switched out my light. Sleep claimed me immediately. It was midnight when I woke, bathed in perspiration. I'd been having a nightmare. Thousands of spiders were chasing me. They were, they were going to kill me. I felt their creepy legs crawling all over me. Their leader of the spiders were on my head, working its way through my hair. I could feel its every movement. It felt so real. I screamed. No wonder it felt real. It was real. Something was on my head.